What's up, everybody? I'm Brett Blakemore from SummitGuitarSchool.com. Today we're learning Stuck With You by Ariana Grande featuring Justin Bieber. I'm teaching this song for a couple reasons. One, it's got a cool guitar groove. And two, well, Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande songs get lots of views on YouTube. So. <laughs> All right, I might be the only one that says that that's why they're doing it, but that's why I'm doing it. All right, so check it out. If you want more content like this, um, that isn't on YouTube, head over to the website. The link is in the description and uh, subscribe to our newsletter. I'm going to really start sending out some free lessons there. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. And then uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Really appreciate the support. Let's jump into this thing. All right, so let's talk about the chords we need for this song. Um, I'm going to show it to you guys with all bar chords. So check it out. We've got an A flat bar chord right here first. So it's a six string uh, root. This is your A flat, so you're gonna put your third finger, I always start with bar chords like this. I'm gonna put my third finger at the sixth fret, fifth string, my pinky at the sixth fret, fourth string, middle finger, fifth fret, third string, and my index is gonna bar. So if you wanna make sure you're getting your bar chords correct, you can pluck each note individually there, all right? If you're hearing like, that means you gotta kinda straighten it out. I pull my wrist down a little bit, and I definitely am using the bonier part of my finger to lean it back to play that bar chord. If you're having trouble with the bar chords, just keep at it. Eventually it clicks. I couldn't tell you how old I was when it finally clicked, but one day I was like, first I was like, I hate bar chords, I'm quoting guitar. Second, I ended up keeping, keeping at it, and then one day I just started playing them, and they worked. So you just have to keep at it, no matter how frustrating it gets. So, A flat. And then you jump, there's a C minor. And you can make it a minor seventh. I'll show you the regular C minor first. So you just keep that same shape and you move it up to the eighth fret and you get rid of your middle finger. So you got third finger, fifth string, 10th fret, pinky, fourth string, 10th fret. Your index is putting a bar from the eighth fret down sixth string, all right? All right, down towards the floor anyways, not pitch wise. And that's a C minor. If you want to make it a minor seventh, give it a cooler sound. Raise up that pinky. All right. I like the minor seventh. It's always going to sound a little hipper. Um, and then you got a D flat. Here's the textbook way of playing a fifth string major bar chord. All right. First of all, the easiest way to think of it is if you think of an A major open. All right. But switch that to two, three, and four. Think of an open A major. Switch it to two, three, and four and then shift it up and then bar. All right, so now I've got six, six, six. So middle finger, six fret, fourth string, third finger, six fret, third string, and then the pinky on the six fret, second string, and I'm gonna put my index on the fourth fret, fifth string, and bar down. It doesn't matter if you get the first string barred as long as you get five, four, three, and two to ring out. You don't want that first string to ring though, so you do need to mute it if you're not gonna push down hard enough to get that. And then you jump up, that's a D flat major bar chord. There's another way to do it that I love to do, because uh, my finger will do this. If your finger will kind of shift back like that, your third finger, your ring finger, you can lay it flat. So it's not really a cheat, it's just more of like a hack because my hand will let me do it. So you put your third finger over the sixth fret, fourth, third, and second string. And because of the way my finger kind of bends, it arches right here, not really arches, it like dips in. I can get that to happen. So if you can do that, lucky you. And you can kind of teach yourself to do it over time. But most people feel this more comfortable, I found, over teaching thousands of guitar lessons. But a lot of times, I like to teach it this way. Because if you can do it this way, it's easier. It, if that hurts, then you just got to do it, buck up and do it this way. So then you've got um, a F minor bar chord up here. Or minor 7. I think they're actually doing the full... F minor there. So you're going to go up here and you're going to put your third finger on the 10th fret, fourth string, pinky, 10th fret, third string, middle finger, ninth fret, second string, and your index bars from the eighth fret through the first string, or from the eighth fret, uh, fifth string to through the first string. And you strum from the fifth string down. Just like that. If you wanted the minor seventh there, you get rid of the pinky. Which you can do, or you can not do. Sounds good with it. And uh, and then 
you come down here and you do an E flat, which is the exact same shape as the D flat major that we did, but we're gonna do it off the sixth fret, so root, so E flat here. So you gotta put middle finger, eighth fret, fourth string, third finger, eighth fret, third string, middle uh, pinky, eighth fret, second string, and your index is gonna bar from the fifth string down on the sixth string, or sixth fret. I still like this. Some of my videos I switch back and forth. This is the one that I like. All right, so then after the bridge, there's a D flat minor bar chord. Uh, before that, there's a uh, the, the C minor up here at the eighth fret that we did. Throughout 90% of the song becomes a dominant seventh. So that becomes the same shape as a major chord, except for you get rid of your pinky and making it a dominant seventh chord. So you've got your in, uh, third finger, 10th fret, Middle finger on a fifth string, middle finger, ninth fret, third string, and then you bar your index. And no pinky. You want this note to ring. That's your dominant seventh or lowered seventh. All right, it just gives it a little bit of soul. So you go from here to this. And then there's a, um, a D flat minor bar chord. All right, after the D flat major. So that's just the same shape as the F minor here. So you got sixth fret, fourth string, sixth fret, third string, middle finger, fifth fret, second string, index bars on the fourth fret from the fifth string down. Okay? Those are all the chords you need. It's a bar chord killer. So, uh, yeah. So let's do this. Let's play through it. So, <clears throat> it's pretty simple overall. It's the same part through like 90% of the song. So you're going to go... And I kind of mute a little bit when I'm doing this first. I did the third finger all the way across, I think. So I'm going, so I play kind of like a full bar chord and then I put my palm down right at the bridge and I kind of mute a little bit so I can get a bass line going. Especially if you're playing it by yourself, it helps to go. So it's all down, so that's the simple part. So it's like one, two, three. I'm doing all downs, one, So it's in 6-8, which is kind of interesting. Just realize that. A lot of times I use my ear to figure out a song. I don't even think about the time signature. Um, but you need to know it. So, one, two, So I'm going from the A flat to the C minor to the D flat to the F minor to the E flat. So I'm going one. You could even pause if you wanted, but that's literally the most of the song. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. You could pause if you wanted to and just go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But to me, you gotta keep that pulse going so you can actually keep the timing of the song. So that's like 90% of the song. When you go to the bridge, you go to this D flat here and you go. And then you go to A flat. And you go to D flat. And then you go to uh, E flat. Oh, that, that part you actually build. So it's after you do that D flat, A flat, D flat, then you go one. So let's go through that bridge again. I kind of jacked you up there. One, two, three. So it's just all downs. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, five, A flat. One, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Build, and then back to 
to A flat. And then you go, and you make it a dominant seven. So that's this dominant seven chord we talked about earlier. That's eight, 10, eight with the bar, middle finger on nine. So, this is right after the bridge. Then you go D flat. And then D minor, D flat minor, sorry. Three, four, and then back to the rest of the song, which is the exact same as the beginning. I get a lot of requests for um, the open chord version. I'll throw it in there, but that is literally it. Um, that's how you play this song.